Hi Blunder fans, here is the second part about modeling a low poly sheep. In this one I will add the rig. So let's start by adding a first single bone to the center and I activate X-Ray so that we can see it through the mesh. In edit mode I grab the head and then the tail of the bone and press the G key to move it along the snapped Y axis. Okay, then I select the bone and press the W key to subdivide it and after that I extrude a bone for the head. Now I add a new bone for the leg, again move the tail and the head and then I subdivide it so that we have two bones for the leg. Okay, then I activate snapping to volume and median. And when you move the bones with this snapping enabled, they get snapped to the median to the center of the leg. Then I do the same for the other legs as well. I duplicate the two bones and move them to the positions of the legs. Ok, and now one more bone for the sheep's tail, again move it and adjust the size. After that I select all the bones by pressing A, then I press Ctrl N to recalculate the roll to the global Y axis. Alright, now you can go ahead and select the mesh in object mode, select the armature as well and press Ctrl P and then choose with automatic weights. And when you switch to pose mode now for the armature, you can rotate the bones and pose your character like this. Now you can select all the bones, press Alt and the R key to undo all the rotations. Ok guys, our sheep is rigged. In the next video I will add an idle animation to it and export the character to my Unity Low Poly game kit. If you want to help this game kit grow, please consider supporting me on my Patreon. Thanks for watching guys, thanks for your support and I really hope you come back soon to JNM.